This little line of code just placed a real bet on poly market. So in the next 15 minutes, I'll show you exactly how to do that and actually much more. Everything is open source and free. Poly market, the betting platform, has just become the biggest prediction market in the world with millions of dollars of volume every single day. And it has a top-notch API, which basically allows you to do everything, interact with everything. So placing trades, bets, but fetching order book data, market data, user, other user activity positions, etc. We're going from zero to placing a real trade in about 10 minutes. No complicated blockchain stuff, just clean, simple Python code. And even if you don't know much about Python, it'll be super easy. By the end of this video, you'll know how to pull market data, analyze odds, place a trade, limit order, market order. And on top of that, I'll add a couple of bonuses at the end of the video about price tracking, little automation there, and a position tracker of other users, which could lead to something more interesting. Anyway, let's go. Let me just take 10 seconds to say that this video is not financial advice. This is me sharing my fun, my experience, my work, but trading, betting, all of that is very risky because you can lose all your capital. So keep that in mind. Okay, let's get to it. I put all the resources here if, that I used to create this little notebook here. Just want to mention that for placing the bets where we, so all the private APIs things where you need to authenticate with an API key, we'll go through that, how to create all of that together later. But the market data, the user data, etc. this is public knowledge if you want, so you don't need to authenticate to do that. And we'll be doing the requests ourselves here. But what I'm mentioning is that for the API calls where we place a trade, we need this private authentication. I'm using this code that a bunch of people have coded is open source. It is third party. So this is up to you to know whether you would like to use that or not. Whatever, this is your call. Just know that if you want somebody to code this for you entirely from scratch using directly the API of Polymarket, you're welcome to ask me. This is what I do professionally for my clients and trading bots and things, trading automation in general. Anyways, so I've said enough. We're basically using two um, packages here. This PyClub client, which I was telling you is this code and request because we want to do for the market stuff you'll see here. We are directly requesting the API of Polymarket. Okay, so running things, let me do the imports. So as I said, we're using, there's a, several endpoints that are important, the URL. So you'll see in the code, this is where I'm fetching things, Gamma API for the markets. That's for general markets info. In the context of, of um, uh, Polymarket, a market is basically this, the bets that you can do. I mean, the subjects of the bets you can you can do and data is that's what we'll see is where you if you want to get user information like a some wallet address of some people placing bets or whatever to get that kind of information you go through this and that club is to place the trades etc so this is what basically this custom made by these these guys here uses that url okay i hope that was clear um, let's carry on. You're welcome to ask down below if you have any questions or join the community Discord. You're very welcome there. So there we go. So first thing that I think we'll do is fetch, just to show you an example of fetching all the markets. So all the open market, there's a ton of them. I put a limit to 10. And that's why when I say found len of markets, I find 10. Okay. But there's a huge amount. So typically over those 10, let's do a little loop and print and see just I'm just uh, summarizing here. You see this, will the Carolina Panthers win Super Bowl in 2026? Uh, Fed decreases interest rate by 50 BPS after December 2025 meeting. Okay, this is more my cup of tea. So maybe we'll take this one as a, as a carry on. The point would be to place a trade on that one. So let's do that. So you see, I'm going to select the that element zero in our loop, in our markets here, zero, one, two, three, four. So I'm going to say that the market I'll concentrate on for this tutorial is one. And you can see there's a lot of information. Let me even open that. There's a lot of information that describes the, the, the market. And you can see 
well, the question, et cetera. So you can find a lot of things. You can even get the, the picture of, <laughs> so if you need, you can anyways. Point is, we're selecting that. You have all a lot of information in there. I mean, depending what kind of automation you're doing, you might will likely be interested in some of the things that are in there. For example, typically I'm um, I'm summarizing here and just getting, for example, the market. Okay, the end date. When is that bet going to be settled or that market finished? The condition ID, etc. No problem. So the important thing here is that this is all based on cryptos, et cetera, with your wallet, et cetera. We're always using tokens here. So if you want to place a bet and say yes, you'll use the yes token. If you want to place a bet and you want to say no, you use the no token. Point is this, as I mentioned, this is all handled very well by that third party code that we have here. But I wanted to mention that to you. Typically, because in this cell, this is what I'm highlighting here. To finish, I will show you that we're getting the club token IDs, and this is basically telling me what is the yes token, no token. Very good. Let's move on. There was a bit of a general thing, the market structure, etc. because I think if you're new or maybe you're more used to crypto exchange, etc., this obviously kind of changes a bit. So there we go. Something that might be more interesting, let's say, or like more practical i'm gonna now use the club client so this is of let me show you this is indeed from this pi club client i'm using that guy here okay so let's go back to here and why because i want to make my life easier not to code again from directly calling the api i could develop that no problem but i'm using what's there already and let's just get the order book so let me just run you say book the important thing here is get order book and I'm taking the yes tokens. So the yes side, not the no side. I'm doing a little ordering here so it matches what we will see. And you will see, okay, I'm then printing the last five, last five. And um, there we go. So no, first five, beg your pardon, first five. So we, you can just quickly see, like, let's try to remember, ask the best is 0 0.011 and the other five bids is 0 0.05 let's get to here and see if that is what we see where is the order book oh i need to go in we are so that there is this question but there's several markets in there i forgot to say so we are on the 50 plus bps decrease but you could you have all of these here and what had i said 1.1 cent so that's indeed 0 0.011 am i forgetting a zero no i'm not all good so that was the ask, and the other one was 0.01, so one cent, very good. You can do all the other checks. Anyway, great. So this is like order book info, but maybe you would need some more, um, I, I don't know, hands-on, I don't know how to say, but more precise information, like you would want to get the buy price, the sell price, or the midpoint, or even the spread in the idea of automation or whatever, or if you want to put conditions when you want to enter or exit, these are kind of, um, let's say, metrics or um, quantities that could be important for you. So we get all of that. We find again, best ask, best bid. We find again what we had found here. So great. This was basically doing everything that is sort of, uh, maybe it's wrong to say public knowledge, but we haven't authenticated to our account yet to do all of this. This is Anybody can do without authentication, beg your pardon, I'm butchering the, the word. You can get this information without authenticating. I'm going to stop using that word. But now we're moving on to the idea of placing markets, placing orders, etc. So now we have to do the authentication. So we'll, I want to quickly show you how you create the API keys, etc. just in case you're not too used to all these kind of things. Let me stop just for. 10 seconds to say that if you are interested by all that, you want to open an account on Polymarket, there's a link down below. And that if you want to support the channel, using that registration link to open your account will support this channel and me a lot in my work and doing all those open source courses, Python codes, etc. So thanks a lot if you do, do, do use that link. Do, do, do. <laughs> okay, so there's several account types if you want, depending whether you're using Meta MetaMask hardware wallet, etc. 
you have a sort of signature type that will come in when we're creating this authenticated <laughs> yes client <laughs> and so here i'm i'm using i've just created a quickly an account with my to test with my email etc so i'm using signature type one email there you go but then what we want is to give the funder address and private key so funder address this is basically your wallet address so what you would have here or when you collect your your address your wallet beg your pardon you would have it here as well but then we need we need we need the private key so that's like kind of the api key if you want so to create that is quite easy we come here we go well, it's not quite easy you have to find it and you go in export private key start export there's some you have to verify a few things etc and at some point you have a window that pops out gives you the private key you just copy that copy come paste just be one very careful this obviously gives the right to a person to come and use transfer your funds or do bets etc so this is very super confidential information and you should never share with any third party or even give to an ai or whatever you need to be very careful about this so i've already put mine in here so i'm actually running this cell which i've hidden but with my own api key and i mean private key etc great so now that everything worked or actually let me show you that it has that i've authenticated properly etc i will just run this so it's defining this authenticated clients or client with authentication i they're actually these are not technically speaking exactly api keys that you gave them so we are using this derived api key that polymarket creates them for you already and then we set them in our client little details or whatever you could print to see that those keys how they look etc point is i've just run that and now what i'm going to do is a good old get balance and you can see 18 dollars okay 18 dollars very good so we're we're done here so if there was some misconfiguration or whatever we would get a, an error here saying that it's just not working or invalid something whatever so that kind of verifies that we did the job properly here i mean the job in a sense plugged in the right credentials etc great so i would say let's just start with a market order so that will directly place the bet straight away so you can see you can i'm using and this market order create market order etc this is all using this third party github the, the thing i showed you on github that code net so anyway just doing that oh yes very important thing so side um if you want to do some configuration you can can the order type etc amount etc token id i forgot to tell you this but i'm placing a yes on that bet i'm betting yes so that's why i put my yes token id remember what i told you is very important everything works with tokens so yes token id okay what i was going to tell you is that this is just creating the order and signing it so kind of making it signing it saying it's yours with your authentication etc um but it's not placing it to place it is a you once it's signed we see market order sign then we do a post so that was create market order but now we're posting the order so if i now execute this we will see after one second that it was executed no error message five very good some ids etc success true all good note that it can be a bit confusing but they everything is in sent on poly market so that's why you see four four six five is but in usdc it is 4.65 and you know there's fees etc so that's why amount five to six something like that or maybe the availability anyways i'm talking too much i think you'd probably want to see that oh there you go it just appeared so we indeed have this order here great so what am i doing next we're doing the place market order so i'll actually cancel that manually here okay cash out very good there we go okay so this was market order straight the bet is placed straight away okay great but maybe you have some form of automation you want to wait for a given price or whatever so place market order so same thing you can see that this the difference here i'm using order args and i am indeed giving a price 
Same thing as well. First, we sign with create order, and now and then we post. So let me post this, and hopefully it's not executed straight away. Success true, status live. That means it was placed and is not executed. You can see that now we don't have the bit placed. We have a open order. So we can come here and we have a buy, yes, the price I configured, etc. Great. Point is carrying on with the idea of automation. You might want to check at some point that you whether you have some open orders or not. So let's run this little get orders, open order params, and you will see that we indeed have our order here. That's one important thing, but maybe you'll want to cancel also algorithmically, programmatically your order. So open orders, and I'm just saying now get the order zero at that. Uh, the ID of the order zero, you can see that in the I have only one, so it's fetching directly that one, but I'm using the cancel here. So let me just do that, and we should see that this is taking a bit of time. Okay, cancel order, you can verify the ID. Same here, and if we went here, oh, it, it disappeared. Great. I, the thing, I, you might also want at some point to cancel all your open orders or whatever, just know that you have a cancel all. There's a lot of, um, the, the, those guys have coded quite a lot in here. So there's a lot of methods you can use, up to you to go check. And But I wanted to show you just a few. Okay, so bonus one, price tracker. Maybe in some automation scheme or whatever, you would want to only enter at a given price, etc. So I just thought I would do a little automation here. So there you go. By the way, I think I forgot to mention that, but that's club client. Blob API, you can see that's where that URL URL up here was used. While the data API will be important for the position tracker, and a lot of what we did at the beginning, getting the markets info was using this Gamma API. Anyways, I'm not sure why I'm saying that right now, but it just came to my mind. So there you go. Let's simply run this. So this I'm defining the function, then I'm going to actually run it. So tracking the the price of the yes token, just saying you will do that for 10 seconds with an interval of one. This obviously is just a little in example, but you can develop on top of that or whatever. I just felt like showing you a very simple um, thing you could start with, and there you go. So we'll get five prices and we're done. Okay. It was so fast, there was no change in the price, etc. But in an automation scheme, maybe you would be checking every minute or every five seconds. I don't know, but over an hour or whatever, that depends on your strategy. Another thing that could be very interesting, the tracking other people's activity. So there's a, several things, but here where I'm doing the user position tracker. So you might want to track the activities, the position of somebody, et cetera. So actually, you know what, let's just go, and I'll show you where here, you can see, for example, I don't know, maybe as friends or, but you all, you see people that are very successful and you want to check what they're doing. So where did I want to go? I'm getting lost here. So I wanted to go top holders. And you see there's people here. I remember seeing that guy, crazy, $2 million in profits, the volume insane. So you know what? What do we do? We could go here if we wanted. And then we have here copy address. So that's the like fund funder address, something like that. So we go there and we come here and we do this. And I've executed that function. And basically, we see all the positions that user has used. And I think that has opened at the moment. But you, there's a lot of user you can, I mean, via the API. This, by the way, is not using that GitHub third party. This, I'm doing a request directly, as I mentioned earlier, to the data API. So no third party directly with this code. And you can see there was a lot of positions. There you go. Well, that I think wraps it up for today. Don't forget, if you need a professional developer in this kind of um, area, et cetera, don't hesitate to contact me. I'll do that professionally for my clients. Don't forget also the registration link. It helps if you want to connect, create an account on Polymarket. It really supports me a lot in all this free and open source content I do. And anyways, take care, happy trading, and see you soon.